gonna really quickly show you how I made these two little homemade disgorges for flatfish. All you need is a little wire coat hanger and a pair of pliers. I'm using needle nose pliers. In one coat hanger, I've managed to make two. Really simple. All you'll do is, I've shown these in a few videos where you, uh, you get a deep hooked flatfish. If you're fishing for dabs, you're fishing for place, you're fishing for flounders. Sometimes because you're using fine wire hooks, they swallow them quite deep. These are perfect for uh, unhooking deep hooked flounders. All you do is turn the edge over. This is gonna be the end of the disgorging. You're just gonna turn it right round it, the end of the pliers. So you're just making a little hook. Now you wanna turn it more than back on itself and then straighten it back out. So you're looking at it being like that. The reason being is because when you go through the gills, if it's just a straight hook, it can catch up on the gills, whereas by looping it back round like that on itself, it doesn't. You've already got one bend in it. That's as long as I'm gonna make it. I will take that off about there. The reason why I put a loop on the bottom is so that you can get a few fingers in it to pull on it. Uh, bend the other part around so it crosses over and then you literally just turn it over on itself. And take the excess off. There it is. There's one. And with the rest of it, again, turn over the end and take it back on itself. Then straighten it out. That's how long I want it to be. Bring the bottom up, twist it over, take the SS off, and then twist it over itself. There you go, there's two more. How long did that take me? A minute. <laughs> the reason why I would make two, the reason why I would always take two with me, is because you drop them and you lose them. It's cost me next to now, I mean, well, how much is a, a wire coat hanger? 20 pence? Yeah. Make two. What I'm gonna do now is, now that this flounder has calmed down, I'm gonna try and show you how, how to unhook it. Because the hook has, it's not that deep, I can still see it, but it's deep enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the unhooking one of these. You uh, go in underneath the gill, pass this through between the gill membranes so you don't touch the gill membranes, pass it out through the mouth, wrap the line around it and pull it back. That turns the hook and you can pull it out. You get all this bait and everything out of the way. Gently go in between the gill membranes so you don't touch the gills. Out the front, wrap the line around, and then bring it back. Now we're doing this very gently. There, look. That has pulled the line out through the gills. There, look. That has turned the hook around inside the fish's mouth. Go around the hook, pull the hook out. There, look. And there is the, there's the hook out. No damage to the fish at all. Let's get it back in this tub of water. There we are. I hope that showed you. 
by using just a very simple homemade disgorger like this I've managed to take the hook and the hook length all out of the fish without causing any damage at all now a deep hooked fish like that if you can't see the hook at all if it's gone all the way past the gullet the best thing you can do is just snip that off as close to the hook as you can and let the fish go what will happen is the hook will dissolve eventually and the fish will survive if you start digging around you're going to start causing an injury if you start damaging any of the gills it's not going to do it any favors at all so yeah all you do is because inside the fish's if that's the fish's mouth the hook has gone in that way like that so by going in through the gill and wrapping around the line when you pull this it turns the hook around so that you can just pull it straight out of the mouth and we have perfectly happy healthy flounder.